The original Sony PlayStation Portable, otherwise known as the PSP, was released in December of 2004. Then came the PlayStation Portable 2000, a slimmer, thinner upgrade of the original system. Then came the PSP you are seeing now, the PlayStation Portable 3000, which was released in October of 2008. This version of the system sports a 4.3-inch LCD screen, still uses UMD discs, otherwise known as Universal Media Discs, or memory stick cards to hold saves and for games. The screen is an improvement over the other two models because it reduces ghosting, which can be present in games such as Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, and Vice City Stories when the action gets to be too fast. The price at launch for the PSP 3000 was $199. The CPU clock frequency is 1 to 330 megahertz. The main onboard memory is 64 megabytes. It comes with built-in stereo speakers and a USB 2.0 connector. It was followed by the PSP Go, another version of the PSP 1000, and then the Vita. But those are for another time. I have had this version of the system since 2013, but it was originally purchased in September of 2009 from the guy that sold it to me. I would highly recommend this version of the system for its longevity, the battery life is great. I can play this for about four to seven hours, depending on what game, screen brightness, sound on or off, or settings. If you're going to buy one of these or any of the PSP models, I would recommend getting a MS Pro Duo Micro SD HC dual slot adapter and slamming two 64 gigabyte micro SD cards or two 32 gigabyte micro SD cards into it to greatly, greatly increase the amount of memory, games, and saves you can put onto your system. 